I'm not sure about that. It was always, as you know, as you and Hadley have suggested, um, you know, it was always a risk, and the uh, the uh, the the exposure, if you wish, of the the oil refineries, the oil facilities there in Saudi, um, has always been sort of of question, I guess. Um, for the time being, I'd see this more as sort of a an oil supply disruption rather than an oil shock. Um, and hence you're seeing sort of prices a little bit lower again this morning. But, you know, there are probably more questions being uh, raised than answered at the moment as far as, you know, the, uh, <coughs> the, 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 the source of the attack, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we're seeing a little bit of consolidation. But, you know, if we start to see, you know, assumptions of, of, of further attacks or further sort of um, tensions in the, uh, in the, in the, in the Saudi um, you know, oil refinery region, then again, that will put renewed upward pressure on the uh, on the oil price. But in terms of you know the outlook for global growth and, and and the global economy, yes, this is one of the risks, and it shows our you know the interdependency of Saudi as an economy with the oil price as well as Hadley alluded to uh, earlier, as well as the implications of oil for, for for global growth. So we just need to sort of tread carefully and see where we go from here for the time being. Simon, so, it's Hadley out in Riyadh. I mean, can you leave, just Hi. step back and read the tea leaves here? How damaging do you think this is going to be long term to the Saudi psyche? Because you have this new energy minister, someone who's been directly involved in the oil ministry in Aramco for many years now, but yet still yeah. new at the helm, only a few days uh, out of the box. And you also have uh, Yasser al a uh, banker, financier, head of the public investment fund, head of the sovereign wealth fund of Saudi Arabia, now chairing Aramco. Howard al Fala is out. And just a few days later, you have a massive terror attack that knocks out, you know, five percent of global production. How damaging is this, do you think, for Saudi Arabia in terms of that long term planning, in terms of the Saudi vision, in terms of the faith and the leadership of this country? And even really I mean, just about yeah. sort of how are they going to even respond within the context of their allies? I mean, what's you think the mind meld right now in this country? Well, let's hope that they respond with considered with considered uh, um, analysis uh, rather than sort of Mr. Trump shooting from the uh, from the hip, as it were. Um, in terms of you know the the, the sad economy, the perception um, of this region, I think you know as we've said, it was you know geopolitics is uh, is 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 the word always associated with this uh, with this region of the world. So so no change there. I think the key perception going forward and the key impact on the uh, on the market going forward will be how long the disruption. Um, as I say, it's a disruption rather than a shock for me at the moment. Uh, how long the disruption last if it's you know we'd assumed that you know they'd said when the when the attack happened on Saturday there'd be an update within 48 hours that they'd be back online within the week now we're talking perhaps weeks or perhaps a month or, or perhaps plus um, so the length of that uh, that 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 delay or the uh, the, uh, the the need to uh, you know to repair will be it will be key to the psychological impact as well um, so we, we really just have to see. For the time being, I'm hoping things stabilise. And, uh, you know, as we've seen with oil prices coming off a little bit this morning, you know, I think the market is optimistic that uh, we can get through this and, uh, and come to some form of uh, sort of uh, arrangement, if you wish, um, rather than, than taking it to the next level, which would be on neither side's best interest. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.